Hi everyone, this is Mark, and this is my poem, Getting Ahead of Myself. As a child, I always looked to the future. As a child, when I imagined what would be, I was always sure that things would turn out like they were predicted to, in films and in television shows that I watched, which depicted a world to come when anything and everything was possible, including vacations on the moon, underwater cities, and, of course, time travel. As a child, I was always hopeful of a bright and inspirational tomorrow, because looking immediately for the positive of any situation, for me, has always been in my nature. As a child, I was like Luke Skywalker, in the Star Wars movies, always looking to the horizon and always believing that anybody, even someone as seemingly bad as Darth Vader, could be redeemed and returned from the dark side to the light. As a child, fantasy worlds drew me to them because what I saw and who I saw had this magic to them that had aspects to them that were incredibly enthralling including quests, adventures, and other realities that seemed wonderfully exciting. As a child, real life was somewhere where I interacted with my family, where I hung out with my friends, where I ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and where there wasn't such things as flying cars, teleporters, jetpacks, and robots who looked as human as anybody I knew. But I knew that one day all those things that the television showed me would come true one day. As an adult, when I look around at the world of the present, while simultaneously reflecting back upon the past and at what I used to believe would be a reality when I was all grown up, there are times when I genuinely have to ask myself, in the words of Freddie Mercury, Is this the real life, or is this just fantasy? As I've grown older, and as I have seen and experienced even more of the world, my instant impulse to imagine possibilities before they happen is still my immediate instinct. And though there have indeed been times in my life when my belief that the world is innately hopeful and optimistic has been tested, I will never be convinced by anything or by anybody to stop reaching for that which seemingly lies upon a higher shelf of life. And I will never stop being someone who naturally and occasionally gets ahead of myself.